Hey sisters, just kidding. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to today's video. For those of you who are new and this is your first time seeing my face, first time seeing one of my videos, and you are not yet, keyword yet, subscribed, Welcome, my name is Tyler with an O, and for those of you who are already subscribed, already my people, and are returning for today's video, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Okay, so basically, as we know, James Charles just released the Artistry Palette with Morphe Cosmetics, and I just... <clears throat> And I just had like a couple things that I just wanted to share about this. So, so there was a lot of appealing points about this palette in this collection that just really got me excited and made me want to, you know, go out and spin the coin to have it in my possession. Obviously, James Charles is not the only boy influencer who was able to collaborate with a major beauty brand and release a product and create a palette and everything like that. Of course, we have other great influencers like Patrick Starr, you know, shout out to Mother Star, who are out there, you know, just really doing the thing. I feel like collectively, we have like, a goal, an agenda, ooh, trigger words, to normalize boys in makeup and boys in beauty in general. Like, I feel like that is ultimately the goal. So when we have these scores where, you know, we have big male influencers who are able to collaborate and release products and have marketing campaigns and that are international or, you know, in all stores all over, just the simple fact of them having a, a poster or playing the commercial or having a product in store for people to see and walk past and browse and swatch and play with and everything like that, it just normalizes normalizes, it familiarizes, it, it you know, r gets rid of the stigma of associating a boy with makeup or a boy with beauty. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you feel where I'm coming from with this? So this just made me really excited because this was just another stride in the right direction. So the second major pill for me in the palette was the marketing, the whole talk about artistry and unleashing your inner artist. And I feel like, again, going back to the whole thing of, like, boys in makeup, it's so generalized and so stereotyped and we're always put in the box that boys in makeup is associated with femininity and it's associated with drag and drag queens and w uh, wanting to be women and things like that when it's just like at the end of the day people fail to realize that makeup is art it is literally an art medium like you know it's it's art it comes off it's not changing who we are it's uh, i can go on and on but as somebody who likes to play in makeup likes to create with makeup likes to express myself artistically with makeup this message really just resonated with me and i I, I was so excited. Last but not least, and we're gonna get into the tutorial, I promise, the whole concept of having, oh my god, it's, oh my god, I just, yes, oh my god, and the shade names are on the plastic. Ah, the simple fact that you can literally, like Sister Jane said, create any look imaginable with one palette. That is like goals for me. I, I mean, I have other palettes that I thought were my go-to palettes that I would use, but then end up having to use companion palettes, and I'm not going to say the names of the palettes because I'm not trying to shade anybody and create no controversy on this channel. But now I know, like, for a fact, this is about to be all y'all see on this channel, okay? No shade. But anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to bring y'all up in my grill just a little bit closer so we can go ahead and get into the look. Hey girl, so lids are prepped. I went ahead and did it with some concealer. I know James said that the palette works best with eyelid primer, but I'm using concealer. And then I have my favorite translucent powder under my eyes just in case we have any fallout because we are going full color for this makeup look today, okay? Can you say saturation? Thank you. Okay, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the palette. So obviously we have our center row of like the giant pans. I'm gonna go in with Tune, which is like the kind of like creamy, creamy beige-ish, tannish, almost like a banana-y yellow. And I'm gonna use that as like kind of like a, a light transition shade. And I'm just gonna kind of just buff that up at the top towards the brow bone. Honestly, I have absolutely no idea what look we're gonna be giving today. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was kind of relying on the palette to unleash my inner artist, I guess, hell. But watching the reveal video that James Charles did when he did like all of the swatches, there were some shades on there that when he swatched them, I was like, 
I have to have that. Like, I have to try it. Like, I just want to try it myself. So, that is kind of just going to be the guide. Like, I'm just going to go with the shades that speak to me. The ones that I really want to try. So, it's not going to be, like, any specific type of color scheme. So, I went ahead and used the shade Tune in my transition. So, now, I'm just going to go ahead and go right in with the color. Like, we're about to hop right into it. No more games, okay? Game time is over. It's time to step it up. I think I am going to use this shade here. Um, and this one is called skip I don't own a shade like this I've never used a shade like this it's actually very intimidating looking at it so let's just see how this goes oh my gosh she is bold and is not playing any games but you know what that is a-okay because we're about to go in oh my god this is like like a candy yum yum pink like this is this is pink, girl. I do know that I feel like cut creases are just like becoming a little bit like, I don't wanna say played out, I'm just gonna say a little bit of a go-to for a lot of people, so I don't want to do just another cut crease, you know? Okay, so the next shade I'm gonna go in with is a Love That. It's like this dark magenta shade, and it just looks so pretty, so love that. I'm gonna go ahead and see, oh, wow. Oh, she's pigmented. Let's do it. Come on. And I'm going to put that right beneath Skip. Oh, my God. It's so... Oh, my God. James. Look at it. You got... Look at it. It's so beautiful. Look at this. This was one of the colors that when he swatched it, I was just like gorgeous this might be my favorite color in the whole palette and I will say I don't know if now if it's because this is on top of another shadow but this color blends out so much easier than skip I I'm not even gonna lie I did have some trouble blending out skip not even some trouble but it just took a long time for me to get her to act right she was like no honey you stamped me here so this is where I will be I'm literally touching where I put the color and I'm just swiping up like this and it's creating this beautiful gradient oh my god makeup artist you know exactly what I mean when I, what I'm about to say that was such a good blending experience like that application of this eyeshadow was such a good experience like it made I need to smoke a cigarette, okay? Like, that that was so, girl. Oh, it just blends like a dream. Okay, so we have Love That, and now I'm gonna go over top of Love That, and honestly, I'm just gonna use the same brush, and we're gonna make it even deeper, and I'm gonna go in with, wait a minute, I feel like the purple would be expected, though. Let's go in with this shade right here, the dark blue, and that is cold. Cola. Okay, and then I'm gonna just kinda, kinda overlay. Y'all, I'm not, I'm not trying to be extra, and like, I hate that in tutorials when people just be like, hyping stuff up, and I'm just like, okay, like, alright now. But like, literally, oh my god, this is beautiful. I'm not getting any fallout under my eye. That's crazy. This is crazy. I'm, I am impressed. Okay, so I will say with that one, um, what was her name? Co Cola? Cola girl. She a little tricky. Okay, that's, that, that girl is difficult to work with. Like, I did find it to be a little bit patchy in some areas. It would apply, like, really nice where I set it, set it, but then as soon as I start to blend it out, it would, like, leave some bald spots, and then I have to go in and refill with color. Um, so I don't know if that's just something, like, on top of these other eyeshadows. It's not really, you know, whatever. But nonetheless, it is very beautiful. I feel like with some finessing, you can you can get her to obey. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on right along to the next color. So I don't just want to stay on like one section of the palette. So I've been down here. So now I'm going to take from the top a little bit. Um, I do want to go into the shade You're Kidding. And because James really hyped this up on his swatch and reveal video. And he was saying how like, you know, and he's never been able to find like a true red, matte red. So I'm gonna put it to the test because I've been looking for the same. Uh, listen, James. Hello, James. Hi. I've been looking for the same exact thing. It has been so difficult for me to find a true matte red. However, I did find one. In case you, you need to another comparison, in the box of crayon palettes, this one right here was the very first true red matte that I have ever found. And it doesn't go too magenta, it's not too orange, it's not pink, like it's red and it's intense. So, 
Just saying. Let's go into your kidding. And I think I'm going to put this inside. Kind of like what I did with that blue, but this time I'm using red. And I am noticing that this shade is very similar in like workability, maybe even in the formula altogether as the shade um, Love That. Like the way that it applies, of course, they're all, they're pigmented as hell. But like the way it applies so nice and pigmented and then it's so easy to just like blend and it works so well and marries the other colors so perfectly. I don't know, just an observation. Here go this blue acting up over here. Cola, get it together. Cola trying to embarrass me in front of the people. Okay, so we got our red applied. Um, I don't know, like I'm trying to keep the look very unexpected. Like I don't want it to be like typical. I do have to get into these shimmers, which I think is what we're gonna put kind of like on the lid. Oh yeah, that purple is like, like literally like pressed glitter. Like, whereas like the blue is more of like a shimmer. This one's a shimmer. This is stunning, by the way. Maybe that'll be what I use on the lid because I want the lid to be really bright. Oh, but I gotta try that purple. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with Artistry because that shade is just amazing. Like, it is so beautiful. And I'm gonna go in on my finger because it is, I am just gonna be pressing it into the center. So that's what it looks Oh, it has like a shift, like an iridescence. Oh my god, you can see it on camera. How pretty. Okay, and I'm just gonna pat that on the lid right in the middle. Hmm. I don't know. I feel... I don't know. I feel like I was expecting something a little bit different from this color. Like, it's really not... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just not giving me, like, full opacity. Like, I feel like I can see the shadows underneath through it. Which, I mean, that's not bad, but with some shimmers that I do have, I don't... Like, I can literally layer them on top of shadows and it just, like you know, full opaque. Anyways, I'm gonna try it with a brush. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus on my brush and then go in it with a little bit of wetness and see if that changes anything. Well, it definitely did make it brighter. Okay, so before I keep going, I was trying to avoid the whole cut crease thing, but just in the direction that this is going, it's turning very much into cut crease territory. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do a full cut crease, but I am going to give just a little bit of a half cut crease because I really want to apply like a nice shimmer as like the base and then have these beautiful colors around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease and then I'm gonna be right back. We back! I got my concealer, I just used some ColourPop concealer and I cut my crease. Obviously we put some red eyeshadow down before that so that's why it looks pink. Um, which I'm actually here for but it doesn't matter because we're about to go over it with some eyeshadow anyway. Uh, so real quick now that we have this partial cut crease um, I'm gonna go ahead and blend the sides and so I used cola over here was the dark blue shade I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the lighter blue in the shadow. Well, it's not a lighter blue It's just lighter than cola um, But her name is brother and we're gonna use brother to just start to like blend that concealer on the sides Yeah, I don't know what kind of ghetto tutorial I'm filming. I switch looks midway through Said I wasn't gonna do a cut crease, and now here I am with a cut crease. Oh yeah, but about that shade, so the artistry shade I was using, um, it's not that I don't like it. It just, I don't know, it just wasn't what I was expecting. I'd say that. Like, it's just like, in the palette, it literally looks like it's like, a pressed glitter like it looks so glittery it looks like it has like big chunky glitter flakes and you're gonna put it on your eyes and they're gonna be beaming and it's dazzling but then when I put it on the lid it's very much like an iridescent purple topper like it's like an eyeshadow topper like I it doesn't I don't know it's not opaque um, and it's not really glittery at all it just kind of has like an iridescent sheen or shift to it so I don't know it just wasn't what I was expecting I really wanted to like put on like a purple glitter on the center of my lid and it was just kind of like snatch the whole eye look but it that's not what she gave would you guys be mad if I like don't use a shimmer in the palette cuz like honestly some of these these mattes are stunning you know what we're going for it we're gonna do it we're gonna do it I don't care I don't care, you can fight me. Fight me. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with the matte one here. And this one is called Pinkity Dinkity. Pinkity Drinkity, sorry. It's very much like powdered pink. Which is almost what our lid color was giving anyway with that concealer. So it's not doing anything too drastic. 
if anything, it's kind of just like setting the concealer. I don't know if it's this shade, but it smells like, it smells like a chapstick. Like, you know like those lip smackers? Chapstick, and they smell like, not waxy, but like, waxy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm smelling something else, because I don't think an eyeshadow has a scent. Ooh, I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. Just for funsies, I am going to take this pinkish looking shade here called Sister. Even though it looks just like very much white, I'm going to take some of that and like kind of just put it over top of the pink that we set our lid with. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely seeing how that like brightened up our little inner eye situation that we got going on. Um, and then lastly, I'm just going to go on the bottom lash line with my favorite shade in the palette, well, that I've tried. And that is Love That, the magenta shade that we started out with. And I'm I'm going to place that right on the bottom lash line and I don't know why but lately like when I do my bottom lash line I only like to do like the outer half of my eye I don't know I feel like I, I just like the effect that it gives and I stopped connecting it up to the top like I only just do it from the outer corner to about the middle and I don't know that's just kind of been my thing lately and I'm sticking to it because I like it so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my liner lashes and scara off camera and then I'll be right back so we can wrap this thing on up Boom! this is the finished look so as you can see I went ahead and threw on my lashes I did my little wing liner with the white accents on the sides get into it get into it the lashes that I'm wearing are Calabasas by Morphe on the lips I have on uh, NYX duo that I love and it is a matte lip liner in the shade Vintage, which is a berry color. And then I'm also wearing a Castle, it's called Castle, the lipstick by NYX, in case you wanted to know. Oh, and then for my highlight, I went ahead and used the Molten Rose Gold um, by Maybelline, because I felt like it was fitting since we are serving a pink look. As far as the shades themselves, I will say that these are some pigmented shadows. So altogether, I used seven shades. Um, if you want a quick little run through, I'll try to give it to you real quick. So. First I'm going with this for my transition, and then after that I use this and like the upper crease area, I use this inside the crease, and then I use this to deepen out the outer corner, I use this to blend onto like my cut crease, and then I went in with some red along like the seam of my crease, you know, and then I went over top of the concealer with this powder pink shade, and then I went over top of that powder pink shade with this shade here. But yeah, I mean, I definitely enjoyed the palette, I can't wait to dip in and explore more. Now in regards to like the whole setup, and you know how it has the bigger pans in the middle and everything, in theory it sounded really good, but... But I can't even say because I create a lot of different looks, like very artistic, some are glam, some are avant-garde, so I never know what I'm actually going to use, but I know just for like looks like this, I'm a full color queen, so I really actually don't really get into the browns and the neutrals really often, so I don't see myself using those too much. Overall, I think this is a beautiful palette. The shades are stunning. There's a lot in this palette that you're not going to find other places, case in point, love that and slip child those two shadows alone worth it i'm telling you like I, I, beautiful again one win for a boy in beauty is a win for all of us boys in beauty so i'm very very happy that this is out you guys definitely go and support it i would recommend i almost just want to like take this makeup off and then try another look like there's so much that i could do with this palette i'm so happy that i have a full rainbow palette but yeah guys drop down below in the comments you know i like to hear from you let me know what you thought about this look let me know what you think about the palette let me know what you think about whatever you think about give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you didn't enjoy it still give it a thumbs up and more importantly go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of this tyler with the no goodness and i will catch you all on my next video peace I am ready to see more boys in makeup win, okay? Like, honestly, Morphe, James Charles, Patrick, put me on the payroll, okay? Look, catch the Tyler with an O palette coming spring, summer. Use code Tyler with an O for 10% off. Just kidding. Tyler, you played yourself.